Let's face it, if you want your films to stand out, they need to have the sort of style and transitions that hooks people's attention and keeps them watching more. In this video, you're gonna be able to take boring milk and toast jump cuts and cross dissolves and replace them with my top 10 Final Cut Pro 10 transitions that include pan, tilt, zoom, chromatic aberrations, and shake transitions. My goal is to help you to set your films apart and we have an entire YouTube channel and color grading plugin that's dedicated to helping you do that. So if you want to follow along in your filmmaking journey, click the subscribe button and then the bell to be notified of our next video. And if you stay until the end of this video, I'll reveal how you can bypass the confusing grading controls inside of Final Cut and how to grade images right directly in the viewer. All right, let's do this. First, you need to download the presets. So go ahead and click the link in the description. Once it's finished downloading, unzip the file. To install the transitions, go to Movies, Motion Templates, Transitions, and paste in the CGC Transitions folder. And it's as simple as that. Now open Final Cut Pro 10, go to the Transitions panel, CGC Transitions, and there you have all of them. I already have an edit here, so let's say we want to apply a transition to the first cut. Maybe a pan left transition. I'll just drag it over top of the cut like with any other transition, wait for it to render, and hit play. That's it. It's quick and easy, and it looks way better than a simple cross dissolve. Next, we'll apply one transition to each cut, render them all, and show you what they do. We already saw the pan left transition, then we have pan right, rotation left, rotation right, tilt down, and tilt up. It's pretty obvious what these do. Then we have chromatic aberration. I'll play it back again frame by frame so you can see how the red, green, and blue channels lose sync, creating this cool aberration effect, and then they go back into sync. Then we have shake, and looking at it frame by frame, you can see how it simulates a camera shake. Then comes zoom in and zoom out. Again, it's pretty obvious what these do. As you can see, these transitions help to create the illusion of a continuous shot and even trick our minds into thinking that we're looking at an actual camera move thanks to the motion blur. Now, like with any Final Cut transition, we can modify its duration. For example, these zoom transitions don't look so good and they're really slow. So let's reduce their duration and play them back again. Much better. A huge benefit of these transitions is that they're frame rate and resolution independent, meaning they'll work with full HD, 4K, 24 frames per second, 30 frames, 60 frames, you name it. Now let's say you wanna change these or customize them further beyond the default controls that we have here. What's really cool about these, and in Final Cut in general, is that we can actually take these inside of motion to modify them and it's really straightforward. Just simply right click on any of the transitions that you wanna change and choose open in motion. From here, you can change any of the parameters, add new elements, and create your own transition spin-offs. If you're feeling adventurous, I invite you to give it a try. Just remember to use the save as command and change the name of the transition as to not overwrite the original. So if you're ever dealing with an edit that seems dull, it lacks camera movement or rhythm, and you don't have the time to build the transitions on your own, these will do the trick. And you can further customize them and make them your own so they're a great springboard to start from. Now, if you like the colors in these shots and you'd like to know how we were able to get New York City to have these amazing colors, we did it with color grading. And here's a look at the before and after. Isn't that amazing? For this, we use the CinemaGrade plugin and it's as easy to use as the transitions. CinemaGrade was made for content creators who don't have the expertise or the time to specialize as a colorist, but still wanna get the same professional looking results. 
CinemaGrade lets filmmakers bypass the traditional 20-year-old controls with direct on-screen color grading, Lightroom-style controls, false color mode for getting the perfect exposure, easy color matching, real-time previews of LUTs, support for the X-Rite color checker chart for doing automatic corrections, and look transfer for matching your favorite looks. In the description below, you'll find a link for CinemaGrade and there's a seven day trial where you can try it out for free. And if learning and understanding the native built-in tools is more of what you're into, I want to extend an invite to our free one hour online color grading workshop where we dive into the fundamentals, covering the kind of step-by-step -step training you don't normally see on YouTube, and we'll have a special offer for our Color Grading Academy at the end for those who want to work with us more closely. So check these options out for all of your color grading needs. If we can help you to get the look of your films to stand out, and that leads to you landing bigger projects, we wanna do that and see you set your career apart. For more videos like this, Click the subscribe button and then the bell to get notified of our next video. I'll see you in the next one. Let's make the grade.